what's up youtube welcome back to my channel today i am going to be showing y'all how i fix these botch micro shaded bladed eyebrows do y'all want to see how i do this stay tuned y'all see these brows long story but let's fix them First, I go in with my Dermablend Translucent Powder. I take that and I apply that to my brows. Now, what the Dermablend do is more control throughout the day. Have you noticed that sometimes your brows might look shiny? shiny? Well, that's because it has oil. It produces oil throughout the day. So, you just take that, put it on. Dust it away. Now what I'm going to do is forewarn you because my brows are never sisters. Sometimes they be enemies. Sometimes they be cousins. Sometimes it just depends on the day. Um, but I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hill Dip Brow in the shade Ebony. Along with the Morphe E29 brush. It has the NN. And the spoolie. So what you want to do is you want to brush up your eyebrow. Uh, make sure that product is on that brush, but it's flat. So what I do is put some in my lid and just make sure I get I make sure I get a flat tip on the brush. See how flat that is, and then I go in. So first, you want to outline your brow. Now, for me, I do, you can see this as well, I was microbladed and shaded. Well, I near my eyebrows because it pulls some of the ink off and I want to get rid of it as soon as possible. But I do cut off the tails of my eyebrows because I don't have an arch. You see how low it really is? And so I cut off the tail so I can create an arch. So you want to take your mirror and go in and outline your brow. And a good thing about having no tail is you can make your brow, you want to make your brow system. Hmm. Then I just outline the bottom. Then I'm going to go up and outline the top. If you get a little thick, it's okay. I'm going to start about here. Taking that up. Over the so-called microblade. How I'm looking. But, I'm going to do it. Just going back in there, retracing that. And then we're going to outline the top. Hmm, look kind of good today. Then I'm going to go back and put some product back on my brush. And we're going to start filling in. Now, I fill in and I just use hair like strokes. Hair like strokes. Okay. I'm dipping back into my pomade for the other brow. Now, if you notice, I did not put any product right here. I'm going to show you what to do with that. So, let's fill in the other brow first. So now that I got that back end filled in, my brush is kind of dry. Let me show you. So it's a little product on there, but not a lot. So this is why I take my brush, I lay it to the side, and I blend upward. 
You don't want to put a lot of product in the front of your brow. You want to kind of leave that natural. We don't want to look like our brows are fake. That is not the goal either. Take your spoolie. You can brush up. See how I have put too much product right there? So I'll take my spoolie and blend it out. And then just go in and curl in where you want. Kind of get in as even as possible because it'll make your cleanup better. Okay. Looks kind of good. Because I cut off my tails, sometimes you can see that blender right there. But that's okay because I've seen worse. I'm just pushing that up, combing through that pomade, and there you go. Let's see how you can see still my microblading and shading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, make sure you always close up the pomade because it dries out. When you store your pomade, make sure you store it downward so um, it keeps the air out of the container. I need to practice what I preach because baby, I got three or four of them over here just dry. I like to use, this is the best concealer that I've used to color my brows. It's matte. It dries down. I love it. So I'm going to use the um, Instabake Concealer by Beauty Bakery and the shade is 007 Cream Brousselet. Okay, sis. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a little bit of that product. And put it on your hand. I need to get me a plaque because, sister, I have this concealer in my hair on my covers because I be forgetting this on my hand. And I'm going to carve out my brows using the E123 brush by Shop Miss A. Don't judge my brush, judge your mama. Um, anywho, I'm going to dip that when you're carving out your brows. See how that's good? I clean it up. This is my hell brow. So today we're going to start with this brow and see how it go. I don't even feel comfortable doing that. Let's start with my ring. Okay. So you want to start on the arch first. You don't want to start in the front. You want to kind of start in the arch. Taking your time. Dragging that concealer down. So from here, you want to start with your arch where you started that arch, and that'll kind of line up where your front need to be. So I'm going backwards. Yep. And I'm just gonna take that concealer. And blend it now. Let me get a close up. That concealer is bomb. I will not miss you too. So I'm then gonna take uh, my Real Technique Lux Crease Brush. No, it's not clean. Again, don't judge me. Judge your mom. And I'm just going to blend that concealer out. So you want to make sure you blend out the concealer and not let it dry. But because this concealer is matte, I immediately hurry up and do it. I'm dipping my brush. You want to make sure your brush is saturated so it's going to lay flat. See how flat that is? Flat than your, your um, baby daddy girlfriend's booty head. So let's go. Oh, on top of that. Let's go. So again, we are going to start with the arch. So I'm going to start here where it's supposed to be arching this around this in here, y'all. So I'm going to just take it.
It looks like they're turning into enemies, but let's go. So then I'm going to take this. Drag it out. Okay, so let's reevaluate. Don't look so bad. What y'all think? Take on my crease brush. Blending it out. Buffing it out. Not bad, John. Huh? I'm going to go in with my Beauty Bakery Foundation in the shade 313W. I'm going to put a little on the back of my arm. And whatever this is. Then I'm going to, I dip, I clean my brush off. So then we're going to start. I like to start up here and wipe some of the product off the brush. You don't want to have too much product on the brush. Okay, let's go here. Uh-oh. Hopefully y'all can still see me. So I'm just getting as close as I can to the line I drew. Not putting a lot of product on the brush. You don't want to over put product on the brush because what will happen is it will bleed into your brow. So take your time. And if you see I didn't get all the way close, I'm going to go back in, flip my brush over, get as close as possible. I don't know why I'm shaking like a home in church, but I need. And then. We blend that product up. You see that? I'm gonna go in on my second brow. Hold your breath. Shh. Okay. Yeah, drag some product off the brush. Inch your way to the brow. Don't worry about making me nervous. And look at it. I'm gonna make sure y'all can see and I can see without messing the brow all up. Y'all know I'm new to this. Okay. Now I may have took a little bit too much off over there, but I'll show you how to fix it. See how that one is skinny? That one's a little thick. So what you want to do is Go back in with your Murphy brush and get some of your pomade. And I'm going to go back in and redraw that line to match the other side. Ooh, sis. Y'all see that brow? Y'all see that brow? Then you just want to blend out. Now you don't have to do this foundation step until you start your foundation, um, but because this is basically a brow tutorial, I wanted to kind of show you how I do my brows. And you always want to make sure your concealer is blended. Now once you get through with your brows, I want you to take your time, look up in the mirror, reevaluate them. And you can always go back in, take your brush, your precision brush, and do some filling in. Now you can always take your concealer brush, take that product, blend away that unibrow. There you go. And then I sometimes pat it, the concealer brush on the front of the brow. I sometimes give it a lighter blend up front. But you blend it out, sis. There you go. Brow tutorial. Tutorial. If you're new here, thank you. Please subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you won't miss another beat from Trace. Um, I do plan to do a giveaway once we get to 100 subscribers. So make sure, make sure you subscribe. 
thank you again for tuning in and drop in the comments tell me what y'all want to see tell me what looks y'all want to see what um you have a hard time with whatever whatever it is considering makeup whatever you want to see drop it in the comments below thank you